And this week, here's how to raise a British saddleback pig and make people accept it as your child. Pretend that you or your wife is pregnant, or even better, have your girlfriend go through the whole pregnancy and then agree to give the baby up for care. Alternatively, if you really want your family to believe that you birthed a single British saddleback pig, go the full term and then have the baby aborted after bribing and or blackmailing an underpaid British nurse to forge documents to say that the unborn child has Down syndrome, thus allowing for the legal late stage abortion. Then, once your fetus has been removed from yourself or your partner, wait the appropriate amount of time for the birth to occur and present the British saddleback piglet to your friends and family. The time in between the abortion or actual birth of the child you gave up for care will allow a short window where you can set up a fake hospital bed and pose for photographs with your apparent little miracle. From the moment the British saddleback pig is born, attach a frame to it that forces it to walk on its hind legs, allowing the easy addition of a pair of trousers or dress to your darling little pork chop, should you decide to assign a gender to it. Attend a special effects school, or watch videos on YouTube to learn how to make lifelike masks that you can cover the British saddleback pig's head with when you're driving around. That way, when people see the child on board sign on your rear window, people won't be suspicious you're driving around with a barnyard animal. Instead, they'll just think it's your portly child. If you're out walking with your little boy or little girl and someone says to them, Oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? Or... You're a big girl now, you don't want dollies. You can say, Excuse me, love, actually, they're a pig girl. Please don't try to give my little girl a complex by commenting on her size. She's struggling to fit in enough as it is. Write to your local newspaper, pretending to be your own cousin, and tell them that your cousin and their partner are currently raising a British saddleback pig as their own child, and they're having difficulty getting them enrolled into the local schools because the schools just aren't kitted out to teach your average British saddleback but claim that Dennis is more than average and, and that they are a very special British saddleback pig to you and your family and are in fact just as viable a family member as any of your other cousin's children and you just wish people would be more accepting of your cousin's decision to keep the British saddleback pig that they managed to give birth to. Tell them that you admire the, your cousin's strength to stay with the partner because you personally would find it very, very difficult to believe that the British saddleback pig was actually your child. When the mother of the British saddleback pig has gotten their figure back and, and, and the strength back and regained some body confidence, call yourself a little sex tape and call it How the Sausage is Made and claim it was filmed during conception. Alternatively, if you're simply planning to make people accept the British saddleback pig as your child, then you could film you and your partner going at it and later release the video. Decorate your new child's room to look like an office block, little water cooler in the corner, little stuffed humans that are wearing formal attire, toy swivel chairs and a 3D style painting on the walls that resemble office cubicles. Once your British saddleback piglet has reached adolescence and you can have a bit of a sense of humour with them, have a shirt printed up that says, my dad's a pig, and then you can wear a shirt yourself that says, snout to laugh at. If you've managed to birth human children before or after the birth of your British saddleback and they're a boy, you could also have a shirt printed with a face on it and it reads around it, Pig Brother is watching, with a trotter facing the face's eyes as if to suggest that they're watching. Schools aren't a very supportive place for people that don't fit into the norm, so please be prepared to have to collect your child from school yourself, as they may discriminate against your child for being a British saddleback pig, so get yourself an old minibus that has vinyl signage that reads, Bringing home the bacon. Instead of campaigning against every nursery rhyme that's out there that singles out your child like the three little pigs and this little piggy, play on it and act them out for Christmas cards in your local Amdram clubs. Except, when you do act out the five little piggies, only do two little piggies so that your British saddleback child doesn't feel like they're missing out on extra digits or extra masses of keratin. And that's the end of this week's Here's How. Thanks for listening, man. If you enjoyed the show, give it a share online, you know, share it in your Instagram stories from Spotify, send it to a mate, talk about it on social media, tweet me, mate, tweet me. When I get 2,000 followers on Twitter, I'll be doing a taxidermy giveaway, so, you know, that's something for you, innit? That's a little something. At World Around You, same as the name of the show. I'll see you in a bit, mate.